The Academy of Science of South Africa is the national science academy for that country. It was started in 1996, and encompasses all fields of scientific work. Its legal foundation is the Academy of Science of South Africa Act, Act 67 of 2001, which came into operation in May 2002. The Academy of Science of South Africa was inaugurated in May 1996 by the former President of South Africa and patron of the Academy, Nelson Mandela. The mandate of the Academy encompasses all fields of scientific inquiry and it includes the full diversity of South Africa's distinguished scientists. Since its inception, ASAF has grown from a small, emergent organization to a well-established academy. To date, the academy comprises 338 members. History For about one century, the National Science Academy comprised two separate institutions, the Royal Society from the UK and the Seward Afrikaans Academie van Wetenskap en Koons abbreviated as SAAWEK. SAAWEK had an Afrikaans language focus and was heavily supported by South African business. Based in Pretoria, it was established in 1909 and was the National Academy the statute was passed in 1950, until democracy in 1994. It was structured in two faculties, Human and Natural Sciences, with a journal for each. While it still awards numerous medals and prizes, it is no longer recognized as the National Science Academy of South Africa. With the dawn of democracy in the early 1990s, it was realized that a new model was required. The Foundation for Research and Development now the National Research Foundation invited the Royal Society of South Africa, SAAWEK and the Agricultural Economics Association of South Africa AEASA to plan a new academy. Vigorous debates ensued with South Africa's scientific community in flux. A democratic model based on empirical inquiry was agreed to be essential to the new academy, inclusive of all South Africa's leading academics. In 1994, a plan and a draft constitution were adopted. In 1995, 100 founder members were elected, and the Academy of Science of South Africa was launched in 1996 with then-President Nelson Mandela as patron. When the ASAF statute was passed, Act 67 of 2001, and the SAAWEK statute was revoked, ASAF became the official Science Academy of South Africa. The Academy had a central niche which differed from the previous Academy, rather than having a merely honorific function, it was to provide professional, independent evidence based advice. With the grant in aid from the Department of Science and Technology DST, the Academy moved to central Pretoria. In 2001, the DST commissioned the Academy's first study on South African scholarly journals. The study consisted of a steering committee comprising a number of stakeholders, and a consensus panel which would later release a report with a number of recommendations. In 2006, the report entitled A Strategic Approach to Research Publishing in SA was released. 
The year 2004 brought a breakthrough when the African Science Academy's Development Initiative led by the United States National Academies, selected ASAF as an intensive partner, guaranteeing funding and mentoring for five to seven years. This led to the first symposium on evidence-based practice theory and best practice. This was followed by the study on HIV, AIDS, TB and nutrition, ASAF's first self-initiated consensus study. The highly acclaimed report was released in mid-2007. Studies currently in progress include State of the Humanities in SA PhD study, enhancing the production of postgraduates in South Africa Scholarly books, their production, use and evaluation in South Africa today Clinical research and related training in South Africa Improved nutritional assessment in South Africa Low carbon cities Forum-based study on science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM education Forum-based study on science for poverty alleviation The Academy established a number of awards, the most notable being the Science for Society Gold Medals, two of which are awarded annually. In conjunction with the DST and the Academy of Sciences for the Developing World TWAS, the annual TWAS Prize for Young Scientists is awarded. The Sydney Brenner Fellowship is also awarded by ASAF, along with merit awards and certificates. In 2001, the Academy took over the publication of the South African Journal of Science an indexed ISI journal. The Academy has been instrumental in the establishment of CLOSA, a free open access, fully indexed journal platform. The SAJS was the first journal to be uploaded to this platform. In 2004, the Academy launched Quest, Science for South Africa, a quarterly popular science magazine, now South Africa's top science magazine. In addition, a quarterly newsletter is published. The Academy has also released a number of statements on a variety of topics such as xenophobia, climate change, and ocean acidification, both by itself, and in conjunction with other science academies. As of 2018 Professor Roseanne Diab is the Chief Executive Officer. Topic Objectives The key objective of the Academy is to promote and apply scientific thinking in the service of society. To this end, the Academy shall Use the common ground of scientific knowledge and activity to remove barriers between people and obstacles to full development of their intellectual capacity. Endeavor in every possible way to inspire, promote and recognize excellence in scientific and technical practice. Investigate and publicly report on various matters, in its own discretion or at the request of government or organizations in civil society, to promote and apply scientific thinking in the service of society. Promote science education and a culture of science in the population at large. Maintain strict independence while consulting other organizations and individuals in the widest manner possible Endeavor to establish and develop close relations with scientific organizations in South Africa and with similar academies in other countries, and 
take any other action that it may consider necessary towards the attainment of its key objective. Relevance The strategic priorities of the Academy are closely matched to those of the nation, focusing particularly on the need for the greatly enhanced availability of high-level human capital and an increased use of the country's best intellectual expertise in generating evidence-based policy advice that is practically feasible. The Academy is aligned to national policy as dictated in the White Paper on Science and Technology and the National Research and Development Strategy. It also seeks to meet other national priorities, such as the Accelerated and Shared Growth Initiative for South Africa, the Joint Initiative for Priority Skills Acquisition, and the Grand Challenges of the Department of Science and Technology. See also Open access in South Africa External links Official website <laughs>